Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to go through the solution to this exercise going through cost minimization with three classic production functions. If you haven't done so already, I recommend you stop the video now and attempt to go through this and then come back to see the solution. Before we get started, note that in all three problems our parameters are the same. We have a wage of 5, a rental rate of capital of 10, and a target quantity of 20. In the first part, our production function is 5k plus 2l. First thing we notice is that this is a linear production function. To figure out what we need to do here, we're going to first find our marginal product of labor, which is the partial with respect to l, that's 2, and the marginal product of capital, the partial with respect to k, which is 5. The unique feature of the linear production function is that the MPL and the MPK are constant numbers. They never change. It does not matter what L is, what K is. These are always constant numbers. We can figure out what is our marginal product of labor per dollar by dividing that by the wage. So we get two-fifths. Doing the same thing for capital, the marginal product of capital per dollar is five-tenths. Converting those to decimal, we get 0.4 and 0.5. We can see that the marginal product of capital per dollar is always going to be higher than the marginal product of labor per dollar, so there's no reason we would ever want to use labor here. We're only going to use capital in our production. That tells us that L equals 0. We can finish this off by figuring out how much capital we need, and we can use the production function to do that. We know that our target output is 20, so 5k plus 2l needs to be 20, but of course we know that l is 0, so this goes away. Divide both sides by 5, we get k equals 4. For the second part, we have a production function min of 5k and 2l. This is a Leontief production function. For a Leontief production function, we always want to maintain a specific ratio of inputs, because if we go off of that ratio, we're going to have wasted inputs, and therefore we won't be minimizing our cost. To produce our target output of 20, we need the minimum of 5k and 2l to be 20, and we can accomplish that at the lowest possible cost by having 5k equals 20, and 2L equals 20. Starting on the K side, divide both sides by 5, we get K equals 4. On the L side, divide both sides by 2, we get L equals 10. For our final part, we have the production function K to the 2 thirds, L to the 1 third. This is a Cobb-Douglas production function. Of the three production functions we're working with, this one is definitely the most involved to solve, but it follows a set procedure. As with the linear production function, we're first going to find the marginal product of capital by taking the partial with respect to capital. The two-thirds comes down. We subtract one from that, so k to the two-thirds minus one is negative one-third. The l to the one-third comes along. For the marginal product of labor, take the partial with respect to L, and the one-third comes down this time, K to the two-thirds comes along, and we subtract one from the one-third to get L to the negative two-thirds. Next, we will calculate the marginal rate of technical substitution by taking the MPL divided by the MPK. We can simplify this down a bit. The one-thirds cancel. Our k to the negative one-third is going to come up to the top of the fraction, and our l to the negative two-thirds is going to go down to the bottom of the fraction. We are left with k to the two-thirds times k to the one-third on top. That's just k. On the bottom, we still have that two there. Don't forget that. 
and then we have L to the one-third times L to the two-thirds, which is going to be just L. We now set this equal to the ratio of the prices of inputs, W over R. Notice that we have kept this consistent, where we had in the MRTS, MPL divided by MPK, so we have to have wage divided by the rental rate of capital. Had we done MPK over MPL, we would just switch and have R over W here. It would make no difference, and either way we'll get you the right answer. Just like with consumer choice problems, we just have to be consistent about how we're doing it. Plugging in the numbers, we've got K over 2L equals 5 over 10. That gives us K over 2L equals 1 half. The 1 halves cancel. Multiply both sides by L, we've got K equals L. I'll point out here that the fact that K equals L is specific to this problem and they are not necessarily going to be the same in other Cobb-Douglas production functions. Next we need to actually solve for K and L. Since our target output is 20, we have to set our production function K to the two-thirds L to the one-third equal to 20. Since we already figured out that K equals L, we can now use substitution here. So anywhere I see a K, I can simply substitute in an L, so I'll get L to the two-thirds times L to the one-third equals 20. L to the two-thirds times L to the one-third is L, so we have L equals 20. And since K equals L, K also equals 20. And we've now completed this problem. We have gone through three different types of production functions, linear, Leontief, and Cobb-Douglas, and solved for the cost-minimizing quantities of labor and capital. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks for watching.